What's up guys, it's Pierre. In this video, I'm gonna do a quick review of the Asics Gel Fastball 3. This shoe is used by many of the top squash players in the world. I've been testing it out for about a month now and I'm gonna give you my feedback on the shoe and explain why I think so many pros are wearing it. Number one, they're light. 346 grams was the weight of one of these shoes. That compares, that's about 30 grams lighter than Asics's kind of standard bearer. This is one of the most popular shoes in the world, the Asics Gel Rocket, which is less expensive. The fastball is lighter. Number two, this shoe has a low profile. When you wear this, you feel low to the ground. I'm gonna compare that to the Gel Rocket. It has what feels like more cushioning, but you feel a little less stable, a little higher off the ground. Maybe something that would be great in volleyball, let's say, but in a sport like squash, where you're trying to stay low to the ground and move side to side more, this shoe provides a lot more feel on the court. Number three, the cushioning was very nice. I didn't notice any strain on my knees or anything unusual like that. Even though the shoe's lighter, they still were um, very nicely cushioned after a long squash session on court. Number four, the grip is excellent. Their court shoes, they are, like most Asics, good grip on the court. I liked how these had a bit wider of a toe box, I guess you could say. So as you were pushing off side to side, I felt like there was a, a lot of stability, lateral stability in this shoe in terms of the grip. Like I said, I've been using these for about a month and I'll just show you some of the wear and tear. It's pretty minor. Um, I don't even know if you can really see that, but there's some scuffing on the front left toe, which is normal for me. And also some wear here on the front left instep, also normal for me. <clears throat> there was no, uh, nothing, no excessive damage. It's kind of normal wear and tear as I would have for any squash shoe with my movement style. The sizing on these is true to size. I used my normal US 11 and a half and felt that they were um, very comfortable. The one bit I'll tell you about is that the toe box is pretty large. So I found myself a lot of times tightening up the laces quite a bit around the toe box area. And sometimes I would get this sort of scrunched up look on the shoe, trying to get it to um, feel snug around the toe box. If you have if you need a larger toe box, this is a good option for you. The price of the Fastball 3 is 108 euros. That's, I bought these for 108 euros. So it's a bit on the more expensive side from ASICS, but you're getting a high quality shoe for your money. I'm gonna put a video right here of the unboxing video. If you wanna learn a little bit more about how these look right out of the box and some of the materials they use, Check it out and subscribe if you want to see some more reviews because I got a bunch of shoe reviews coming up soon. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.